Hey guys, Kiki's on comms here, and I'm so excited about this video for a number of reasons. First, I enjoy sharing things so other people can experience it. And secondly, because I tried modding Breakpoint once and I just could not get the Anvil toolkit to work on my PC. But anyway, this video will basically be a showcase of the mods I am currently using, not necessarily a guide on how to install them. Uh, but I'll link a modding guide that Deef created that I used to start modding Breakpoint. All right, so let's jump in. So you're gonna need three main files to start the modding process with Breakpoint. You're gonna need the Anvil Toolkit, pre-patch forge files for modding, and then you're gonna need the individual build tables. With those out the way and all set up, you can get to the good part. So there are three categories of mods I use. I will categorize them as visual or cosmetic, sound, and the last category that I call quality of life. So let's start with the visual and cosmetic mods. Firstly, I'm using the loaded Cry JPC and Cry AVS mods. There are multiple versions available and these are all replacer mods for a number of vests in the game. Now, I think these just look so cool and you're able to color them and there are versions that have alternate patches, options to remove the backpacks and more. But I just use the base models of each. Next up, I have the XRK NVG Arachnid mod which replaces the Steiner Vision monocular. It has a battery pack to all helmets that use night vision goggles to make them all look simply more tactical and cooler in my opinion. So continuing with the visual or cosmetic mods, I have an improved lenses mod installed which basically makes this particular Oakley glass clear which I think just looks so cool. It looks so cool. Like, like look at this. The next mod I'm running is a face gear mod that replaces some of the face paints in game. This will allow you to have these particular face gears actually show in cutscenes. And this is so cool. And this is one of the things I dislike a lot about Breakpoint. And I talked about in my Wildlands comparison video. This is something I never understood in Breakpoint. You spend all of this time customizing your gear only for it to be removed in a cutscene. Look at this dude. Hey. No, 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 Can no. Talk to you for a minute? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Well, that's fixed now. To color them, you just need to wear another piece of face wear, which I, I usually choose to wear the shema or however you pronounce that. And then when you color it, it changes also the, the face paint color or now the mod. Continuing with the visual or cosmetic mods, I'm running a number of gear overhauls for NPCs in game. And I think these add a different vibe to the overall game. I, I guess if you get tired of just looking at the wolves or the board arcs, you know, in the same stuff that they have in the base game, these mods are for you. The three I'm using are uh, the real board arcs, then this next one by Pork Chop. It really switches up how the, the Sentinel soldiers look in game. And then the last one, and this is probably my favorite, is the Shadow Company for Wolves mod. I think it just looks really cool to have them seem like a private military group of guys. And they even have uh, outfits for, for Walker and a lot of other wolves in game. So very cool. The last set of cosmetic mods I'm running are patches. Now these replace a lot of the generic patches that come in game with real world ultra alternative ones like the SEAL Team 6 patches and more and just, just look at these. So these are photos from a recent video, my two most recent videos so if you haven't seen those be sure to check those out. Alright let's switch gears to sound mods, that's, so that's the next category of mods I want to look at but I, I only have two for this category and the first one is the immersive gun sounds patch. Now this mod is a game changer, literally. The guns pack way more punch, more of a punch in terms of how they sound, especially when they are unsuppressed. So this makes me want to play a more assault style as opposed to stealth. And that's kind of going to be how I play the next video that I'm working on. Uh, just loud, open combat, very hectic, but sounds very good. Like, listen, just listen to this, listen to this.
so cool all right the next mod i have is called no more random motorcycle engine sounds now have you ever been out exploring and you just hear a random motorcycle engine and it sounds so loud most of the times well this mod takes that away an honorable mention for sound mods which i don't have installed and i'll explain why in a second i tried this mod out but it kept on crashing the game whenever bullets would hit an enemy and it's the headshot sound removal mod which which is a bit annoying because you can be shooting at enemies 500 meters away and you still hear a headshot sound which isn't very realistic this mod is supposed to take that away but it conflicts with something and it crashes my game whenever i have it installed i believe the mod author is trying to update it so i will check that one out again soon at some point and let you guys know all right the last set of mods i'll talk about in this video are what i call them quality of life mods you know you guys can get technical and call some of them visual mods as well but i think they are quality of life personally so the first one and my absolute favorite is the sling positions mod oh my goodness i hate the backpack placement for guns so much in this game and i think these just look so much cooler there are two different um sling positions there's one for the front section but i like using the the one on the side that has the gun slinged off to the side of your operator i think that that looks really cool the next one is a very simple one and it's the bipods deployed mod for especially dmrs and snipers so you know you have the bipods in in game so no, they're, they're gonna actually be deployed when you're running your sniper or your DMR. The next, a next favorite of mine is the Broken Thumbs mod. Now this one has a bit of grind to it as you will need to get to level 12 in the engineer class to unlock the engineer glove. Now I'm not sure why the, the author chose to lock it behind this glove but it basically switches how you hold your weapon to a C-clamp style which I, I know is pretty controversial even within the gun community because a lot of people think it's it's kind of goofy but it does look cool and um, some of the NPCs in game actually use this style so it's not a hundred percent real world C clamp but I think it looks really cool like look at this so cool right all right there's a group of quality of life mods and these are the last set of mods I'll mention these are the last set of mods I use in game right now and it's from a mod pack called various tweaks now it has about 11 different mods in there but i only use four of them and those are thicker lasers no ads zoom no sprint zoom and unarmed wasp drones now the, th the thicker lasers mod is very straightforward it gives a brighter look to all the lasers in game not only the ones um, used on the weapons but those that are in the world as well because you know some doors have lasers so those are a lot brighter now so you won't trip over lasers accidentally now thanks to this mod and yeah this this mod in particular is especially helpful for those of us that like to play without the hood so it's just it's just a whole lot better the no ads zoom mod allows you to be able to aim from the shoulder position without there being that weird zoom that came in the base game which i think just makes the gameplay look a lot more tactical you know look a lot more cool especially when you're clearing bases and that kind of thing looks so cool the no sprint zoom does the same thing with the camera just when you're sprinting it doesn't have that weird zooming effect when you're sprinting and the last but by no means least mod and this is the unarmed wasp drone i don't know if this has been the case for anyone else but have you ever been infiltrated or clearing a base it's going well nice and stealthy and they get alerted right nobody knows exactly where you are but the drone guy releases his wasp drones and somehow they are able to find exactly where you are and you are hardly able to see them and they kill you and ruin the entire play now this mod removes their ability to shoot they are still able to locate where you are but they won't be able to kill you and i think this is just one of the greatest quality of life mods it's it makes it a lot less annoying to get killed so easily by these 
things and I, I just hate drones overall in this game but that's for another video so these are all the mods that I'm currently using I don't really have any plans to install much more than these maybe outside of the headshot removal mod that I mentioned earlier but yeah if you are on PC and that's something I think I forgot to mention the modding of this game is only limited to PC users so for my console friends out there I'm, I'm so sorry you won't be able to benefit from any of these mods as far as I know but if you are on PC and you want to check these mods out I have all of them linked in the description in terms of how they were mentioned in this video so check out this video see how to to get things installed and try these out let me know if they work for you and if it switches up your game but I'm I'm really happy with with this set of mods it just gives the game a whole different vibe and i'm really enjoying it right now so thanks so much for tuning into this video if you made it this far and you enjoyed my little showcase of the mods i'm using i'd really appreciate if you dropped a like on the video if you're new here consider checking out some more of my content that's available on the channel and consider subscribing as well thanks so much kiki is out